Captain's report. Date unknown. Location the undiscovered east. Is this a fantastical kingdom of monsters, or is it regular like England? These questions and more shall be answered here by me, a knight at the edge of the known world. I am joined on this voyage of discovery by my loyal servant, Mr. Gilbert. A curious fellow whose face the record should state lies not above his shoulders but beneath them, upon his unhappy chest. Upon his unhappy chest. Beyond the wild frontier, something moves! Oh, wonder. Our first New World encounter. A tiny minotaur. A genuine marvel of the East. Hello, boy. I am Sir John Mandeville, Captain of Men. What are the secrets of this land? Where is your king? Please do not ignore me. Can't hear you, John. I must warn you, demon. I am a creature of limitless ambition. Fight me or be disgraced! Mr. Gilbert, is this a fabulous race of man, or is it... A deformed baby cow? I don't know. I would guess cow. Yeah. Ah. We've taken the island. Congratulations, Captain. The day is ours. Land. The father of all prestige. This one requires a title. Because I am chivalrous, I shall allow thee to name this place after thyself. My, my, my real name? No fool, thine English name. Gilbert. Okay. The Isle of Gilbert. Unless thou hadst another idea. Yes, a good one. Very appropriate, very European. Heterotopia. The different place? <laughs> I must laugh at thy simplicity. Very well. Heterotopia. As long as this heterotopia is on the map, thou art somebody. So, is somebody hungry? Famished. Good. A favor, then. Methinks you are right about this being a baby cow. But me also thinks it could have been a man. The code of chivalry forbids the practice of cannibalism. So you want me to eat it and tell you if it's man or beef? I'd be happy to. Oh, bless your pagan lips. It's actually pretty difficult to... Tell the difference until you swallow. You see, it's all in the aftertaste. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is the meat of a child. We should bury this. At last, peace in our land. Let us leave this place. Wow. 
Wow. Who were those guys? Who were they? of England. How are you? <coughs> Scurvy's getting worse. Have you brought us anything to eat? What a question. You know, many boats are talked about as if they are women. Not this one. Our ship is a man. A man called Wet Willis. And he expects a certain manliness from his friends, so please do not be dramatic. Where are we? Are we in France? Have you brought us anything to eat? I've brought a tail. Ox tail? Lobster tail? I eat a dog's tail. They're the best type of tail. A true tail. <laughs> Worry not, it is a tale of triumph. But the triumph is not mine alone, Mr. Gilbert. Go to the poop deck and tell my son the triumph is also his. Now, please. Thank you. <sighs> when it begins, the Unbelievable. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Hi, Gilbert. You are relieved of your command. Take a break. <gasps> How was your time <sighs> at the helm? Eventful? <sighs> yeah. Look. What is that? Goose guy? Not a goose. A crane man. Well, the crane man. Flew down from the sky. Come on, buddy. You drew on the map. No! That's the undiscovered country. What are we gonna do if we discover it? I didn't draw him. He drew himself. The crane man. Scribbled a little self-portrait. That's your story? Mm-hmm. I'm guessing you're the only one who saw him. Yeah. I am the only one who saw him. I don't believe you. Don't tell your dad. He'll start to thunder. Now why should I have any reason to thunder? Fetch me a kiss. Seeds in righteous combat. That's right. Apples. Where shall we go next? Back to the known world or further into the deep? Like the coal. Uh... You need not decide yet. Raise anchor! These are the travels of the royal ship Wet Willis, as recorded by his captain, Sir John Mandeville. Charting the course for... Ted. Ted. Teddy, move thy little body. The Cranemon. What in the name of glorious and almighty? Ted's got some artwork. That's the Crane Man. He has a big, long, beardy neck and a beak nose. We became friends. You've already got a silly friend. You've got Mr. Gilbert. Gilbert's not my friend. He doesn't even have a head. Okay, I'm not sure. If you won't provide companionship for the boy, then what the devil did I baptize you for? I don't know myself, Captain. I don't know myself. I don't know myself. Do you wish to leave us, Tad? To fly off in some crane man's talons? I never said he had talons. He has a man's legs. Fat ones. Fat ones? You said anything was possible in the unknown world. I bet he was an angel. Captain, there's got to be a more sensible explanation. Scurvy causes visions. Or maybe one of the men told him a story. Yes, yes, one of the men must have deceived him. Otherwise, he would be telling the truth. And we would indeed be in the... Kingdom of the Crane Man. Now on the anchor! The Wet Willis does not move until the Vandal has faced the Captain's justice! What does it say? My son is deceived. When you deceive your temporary honorary boy, Captain, you deceive your king. King Edward the Second. King Edward the Second. As you know, there is only one Englishman who outranks the king. 
and his name is G O D D I Y Y E. God. Put my feeble heads together and explain this. I've heard that the lords and ladies of Venice wear beaked masks at their sinful dinners. A secret Venetian on our very ship. Come now. Is this an ark of civilization or a ship of bloody fools? <laughs> Maybe you're the crane man. What's this then? Come down here. <laughs> Is this your crane man? No. Eat man, eat. Soon we shall know if these apples are poison. Oh sweet elixir. I can feel this scurvy leaving my body. A cure for scurvy. Whosoever delivers me the crane man, or the sailor responsible for his invention, shall receive every apple from the harvest. Is that wise, John? Do we even know how much longer we'll be at sea? Yes. Charter calls for the island of Japan. Yeah? Where should I chart it? I don't have a chart. You rip the map up. And Chipongu? I have never been to Chipongu. I have never met anybody who has been to Chipongu, and neither have you. Somehow I have. Really? Really? Chipongu, which is a oh, I'd like to go much further. I'd like to go right past Chipongu. Great to your... Oh! To the known world. Back to the known world. Back to the known world. Back to the known, Back world. To the known world. The sailors of England, our food supply may have run out, but our group. Lunches are not going anywhere. Who needs food or maps or a boat without a hole in it when you've got a good story? And who has got a better story than the travels of Marco Polo the Venetian? Listen to his words about our next destination. Great can is so great. How great is he? The great can is so great, his lands are vaster and richer than any king ever known. And the great can is so great, he can control the sun and stars via magicians. And there's one more, the great can is so great, within his palace are 24 pillars of gold, covered with skins of the beast called Panther, whose pelt smells so sweet that no evil may enter. Everybody's asleep, Captain. Sometimes they sleep for days, and frankly, they're near death. Make sure they save some space for dinner. A feast in the hall of the Great Khan! If Signor Polo's description is to be believed, behind that palace gate lies Shambhala, Zanadu, and a big bowl of noodles just for me. Dinner? Did you 
talk to somebody? Yes, to Marco Polo. Well, he spoke to me through the book. Wow, through the book? What? Nothing. I hope you get in. Gilbert, chew these dead men's fish for them. I am off. To Xanadu! What do you want? We are humble travelers. Is this the kingdom of the Great Khan? It is. But we can't accommodate any visitors right now, and you'll all need to leave. I am Sir John Mandeville, Knight of England. England? I've never heard of that once. Oh, but we have heard of you. The might and splendor of the Mongol Empire- Stop! That won't work on me. Stop it! Are spoken of the world over. Yes, we're all very proud of everything we've accomplished, as you can see. We seek a humble audience with the Great Khan. What is that, you brought us a little treasure ship? If it's a gift for the Great Khan, just leave it and go. Oh, the Wet Willis. No, uh, not a gift. We did not come with treasure. But I bet you were hoping to leave with some. John, this is where I live. It's an enormously complicated place, particularly lately. Were you expecting a royal banquet? Dancing boys and suckling duck? If I could simply speak to the Great Khan, I believe I could make myself understood. You think he's here? In this town? Buddy, this is a large, expansive empire. It stretches from Baghdad to Beijing. Well, then just a bit of food and a place to rest. I've been courteous until now, but you're testing my patience! In exchange for passage, you may take my men. Keep them even. Oh! What, as slaves? What kind of leader are you? Whichever type of leader the Great Khan prefers. No thanks. No thanks. If not me, please, take my son. <laughs> no! We have enough men and enough sons, so unless one of them has ten heads, Nobody here wants them! Gilbert. Gilbert! 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 What now? <clears throat> Has the great Khan ever seen a living man with no head at all? Who? Oh, yeah, with the faces on the, uh... We, we got plenty of those fuckers. You go to India, they can take care of that. Plenty? <laughs> hey, did you say plenty? I didn't know there was anybody like me. I thought I was the last one. And? And? Are my people subjects of the Great Khan? Are they happy? You've got to let me in! Excuse me, excuse me. No, I don't. Have you ever heard of... Marco Polo? He came to this land about 50 years ago. Wrote very beautiful things about the pasta. Marco Polo? No. <clears throat> Marco Polo. Oh, him! Why did you say it right the first time? That name holds a lot of power around here. Really? Sure it does. Marco Polo ranks right up there with uh, Rumby Tumby and... Jojo Taco as the stupidest made-up nonsense I've ever heard in my life! Somebody shoot them! Good God, Gilbert! That was a wig? You better start beating feet! If you only give us passage, we will continue eastward. Oh, so you were hoping to get rich on the Silk Road? I'll tell you which road to hit, and it's the one you came in on. So you'll never know the riches of England. If there were any riches in England, my guys would have conquered it already. We must gain access to the great condom. Conade. Not condom. Conade. And I can't believe I'm saying this. Stop whispering! You can't do that here! Back on the boat! How about just giving us a map of the surrounding area? 
You know what they say out east? Sayonara. Sayonara, my friend! Sayonara! <laughs> what would allow us to go through? You're not gonna talk your way in, so it looks like you'd have to sneak past. I might do anything. You do what you gotta do, I'll do what I gotta do, and we'll see who comes out dead! Ow! You don't turn us away without scraps. You can have Samir's food once it comes out his back end. May we really? This is sad, man. Really sad. Hey! 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 Come on, let's go. It's not happening for us here. No purpose, Mr. Gilbert. Has never been clearer to me than it is right now. Charter goes for Venice. I'm going to kill Marco Polo.